It's so great to chat with you guys. And nothing makes me more happy than seeing family together and pursuing dreams. And especially when those lines can intersect. So share about this opportunity where the two of you get to work together. It's really fun. I mean, it's something we dreamed of doing for so long. You know, all the years of my mom taking me out to LA on school breaks over the summer. We're to New York all the yeah, time. Yeah, New York to auditions. The amount of times she fought my schools or my dad about even letting me pursue it. It was just something we always talked about working together, even, even though we're not actually featured in the show together. Still, it was really fun to be on set together and in the hair and makeup room at Crafty. At I just love lunch. seeing her doing what she loves to do. And, and being so blessed to do it with people that she also admires and respects mm -hmm. and treat her with the respect that she deserves. Cass, Cass, nothing was you know, put on a platter for Cass. She literally had to audition, get in line, do all of that for for uh, all these years. And so she's she's one that the good thing about that is once you once you worked hard you and, and you've earned it. You appreciate it. You know, and I she saw me work hard my whole life. She saw her dad. And uh, so I didn't want uh, to raise entitled children because they're not entitled to anything. In fact, it's the exact opposite. The Bible talks about how to whom much is given, much is required. And I taught them that their whole lives because I've been taught that from my parents. I love that. And you can, you can clearly see that in the representation of your children as adults, which is great. And Cassidy, you know, I find myself smiling every time I see you come on screen because you are just this breath of fresh air and like a relatively heavy series. So talk to me about like where you draw your joy to inform your character, kind of getting into that mindset. So sweet. Thank you for saying that. Um, <laughs> I have to be honest. I felt very connected just to the character of Regan. So it really wasn't like a ton of work trying to get into the character's mind, this and that. And Roma and Karen also very much afforded me and all the producers afforded me the ability to sort of bring, I think, elements of myself to it. Because again, it is a heavy series. And I do think you do need moments of levity, even though it obviously is a show that ultimately is about hope. While you're trying to get to the hope, you also do want some, some bright spots. You know, yeah, so it, she's it was, sunshine in a bottle. Well, I don't so really you know, know that, but it was fun. And also Josh Plassey, who plays Luke is like, was like, we became so close and we had so much fun together on set. Everybody had so much fun together on set. So it was just, I just had a ball. <laughs> like I really did. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the Baxter's, it's all about family and we're, we're watching them navigate these ups and downs. And I love that prayer is often the go-to for them when it comes to a situation. And Kathy Lee, you know, I I've seen you much of, of the life that you've shared with your family and your kids on screen. So talk to me about how you were able to make prayer central in your life and then ingrain that in your children. I've always seen prayer as uh, conversations with God. You know, and it's not something we're supposed to do just in the morning and, and at night. We're supposed to, the Bible says in, in him, we live and move and have our whole being, which means our life is a prayer. We're supposed to live our life as if it's a constant prayer to the Almighty. And I, um, I so it's, it's the most natural thing in the world to me. And the more I've learned scripture and the more I've memorized it, uh, it's, it's, it's right there. I don't have to look it up in somewhere. It's, it's, it, it just comes out because it's, it becomes part of your DNA. I mean, I, I know Cass feels the same way. She wakes up in the morning, usually just to, eh, but still. <laughs> She, you know, she, she, it's a personal. I don't do that. My baby does that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a walk. It's a personal walk. It's not a religion. It's a relationship. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just so grateful. She, they both, Cody and Cass understood that early, early on in life. And I didn't want them to be a cookie cutter Christian of me. You know, uh, they, they're, they have, it needs to be personal and authentic to them. Mm -hmm. And so it is. Yeah, it is. You know, Cassidy, you, uh, you, you, you mentioned the little, the little baby cry there. Congratulations on recently <laughs> becoming a mom. And as you sit next to your mom, what is something that you will, um, you know, kind of carry on that stands out to you that, that she's placed in you that you in turn will do with your ch child and children or either now or in the future? Yeah. Kindness is paramount to all how you treat other people, um, is what ultimately defines you as a person too. And that you treat everyone the same equally, no matter who it is at any point in your life. It's just, just 
be kind. It sounds so simple and it is, but there's a reason that cliches are cliches because they're true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, I love that this Baxter family that has been such a beloved book series for so long is finally being able to be shared on the screen and that we can see a family that's rooted in faith, but still flawed and it's messy and they're trying to figure things out. Um, maybe uh, even down to the fact that, you know, I love that each episode starts with a verse. Maybe just talk to me a little bit about what it means for each of you to be playing a role in sharing this story and content. I think it's so important. I think people are so hungry for it. And I think the last couple of years has proven that why all of these faith-based shows or a show like the, the chosen is so powerful because people, there's an audience for mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And even if it's a quiet audience, sometimes that, that audience is getting loud. And I do think there that demand needs to be met. And for so long, I think it was met with that cookie cutter type show where it was like, no one wanted to watch that because it didn't seem real and it at didn't all. Represent, yeah. It just didn't represent yeah. real life and real Christians and people that were struggling with their faith. Cause so often that's how people even come to faith is through, through the trials and tribulations that come at you every which way in life. And so I think people are really, really hungry for it. And I think Karen knows how to give it to him and Rome, Roma does too. So it's a beautiful marriage of two really wonderful women who are so strong and steadfast in their faith, bringing you real, like real content, to pe real people that you can see and that you can resonate with and know that it's okay. We all fail. Um, and ultimately our relationship with the Lord is what is the most important thing in the world. And you, there can be healing and hope. You know, Kathy Levy, you spent so much of your life on television and you've seen through the shows and talked to, you know, and everyone under the sun that has been involved with them and, and you're, you know, in turn taking your turn, you know, directing and singing and doing all of these things. Do you feel that there's been a time before now that we've been able to be so represented as people of faith on screen? Um, no, I think that, um, um, if anything, what people say to me over all the years that I was there is that you were the first person I ever heard on 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 national television be open about your faith. You were you had a boldness about saying, "Well, Jesus," or you know what the scripture says, and and um, I you know I I always felt like it was God. That's why God put me there. People when I was first in the in the industry very young would say, you, how can you call yourself a Christian and be in show business? And I used to say all the time, how can I be in show business and not be a Christian? <laughs> Brutal business. And, and I don't want to hate people and I don't want to sell my soul and I don't want to all those things. And the only way you can get through it and uh, is by clinging, literally clinging to the hand of God. And I've made mistakes, of course, and I'll make them today as well. But in the big choices in life, um, God is uh, God. God guides us. He will guide us. I mean, uh, he, and when those things don't happen to always go the way you want, he'll also lead you through the disappointments, the heartbreak. I mean, it took me 13 years to get my Broadway show to, to New York or to, to Broadway. And it closed in three weeks because of hurricane, you know, I mean, those are the kinds of things you take to God and you go, why, yeah. you know, why Lord? And I think that what's beautiful about the Baxters is they don't run from those kinds of things. Yeah. They that and but they're not singing the pity party thing like why me? They're they're seeking God's um purpose, deeper person purpose in things. Easier for me to say. Yeah. Uh um uh, God's purpose. You know, um years ago the Lord said, you know, something to me, Kathy, there are no crumbs on my table. I will use everything for my purposes if you let me, even the hard stuff. And uh, I think that's one of the messages of the Baxters too. Mm, totally. You know, there's a reason that we're all going through this. Let's let's seek the Lord on it. And there's nothing more beautiful than to see people coming just pray together. together. Like, like you take said, it Kelly, to God. family coming together. Take it to and... God, right. Thank you so much for taking the time. Such a joy to talk to you. Thank you for, you know, being such a model and inspiration to others. I cannot wait for audiences to get to see this on Amazon. Oh, so thank, thank you so you. much. God bless you.